Brandon Axmit here on News Channel Nebraska, having the opportunity to sit down with Dr. Ashley Weisung, who is the founding chair of the Department of Dermatology at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. And Dr. Weisung came to Nebraska from California a little bit less than a year ago. So, Doctor, first off, thank you for the time, and tell us a little bit more about you and your experience academically and what you're bringing here to Nebraska. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to talk with you today. I am absolutely a Midwestern girl and just so excited to return here to Nebraska to start the new Department of Dermatology. And, you know, as you mentioned, I am a, a Midwesterner. My, my grandpa, Wysong, was born in Baird, Nebraska, and he moved the family to Missouri, where I was raised, uh, both there and in Colorado. And then I've spent most of the last 20 years on the coasts doing uh, medical training and, and working as well. And so initially started out at Stanford University, where I received graduate school training in uh, cancer epidemiology, biostatistics, and research, and then crossed over the coast to Duke University, where I went to medical school and did my internship in internal medicine. Then back across the coast to back to Stanford, uh, where I did uh, dermatology and served as the chief resident in the Department of Dermatology at Stanford, and then dropped down to San Diego and did advanced fellowship training in skin cancer and Mohs micrographic surgery uh, prior to being on faculty at the University of Southern California, where I served as the director of Mohs and dermatologic surgery there uh, prior to getting the call to come to Nebraska. So a very long and impressive list of academic achievements, but you're also quite the athlete as well. And I know you're a little sheepish about sharing, but let people know about what you've done on the track and field um, realm as well. Yeah, so I was really fortunate to grow up in an athletic family and was always outdoors playing all different types of sports, but I actually ran collegiately uh, at both Missouri and Stanford when I was an undergrad and was very honored to be a a six-time All-American and national champion in the 800 meters um, and was also able to to take it to the next level and run professionally for Nike before I matriculated to medical school. So loved loved being an athlete, learned a lot about uh, what I can really do and and, uh, what it takes to be to build a team uh, in through my athletic endeavors. And you mentioned the love of the academics and athletics. What did you love about Nebraska and this opportunity to come to the university and leaving the sunny California and all those beaches to come back here? <laughs> yeah. You know, I think a lot of people were surprised when I left the sunny beaches to come home to Nebraska, but I have to tell you, um, you know, the more and more I learned about the University of Nebraska and and the people of Nebraska with every visit back, uh, just the easier the decision became. And, you know, initially I was drawn to just this unbelievable opportunity to develop a brand new dermatology program here at the University of Nebraska. You know, the need for dermatologic care for the people of Nebraska is enormous, and I was just also extremely impressed by all the recent uh, and investments in clinical and research spaces, you know, the Buffett Cancer Center, the Lauritsen Outpatient Center, all these amazing IXL building, I could go on and on. You know, the, the, the opportunity and the trajectory of all of our University of Nebraska campuses is truly astounding. You mentioned everything that drew you here. Can you talk about the need specifically for a, a department like this in Nebraska and what is your vision moving forward for the dermatology department? So it's not very often in life that you truly get a chance to start with a blank slate. And so, you know, I set out with a vision to build what I like to call the academic dermatology department of the future. You know, um, the need for dermatologic care in the state of Nebraska is enormous. So we actually have one of the lowest ratios of dermatologists per capita in the country and some of the fastest rising rates for things like skin cancer and other dermatologic care. So it was very apparent to me that we we have a major need and I'm just really excited and ready to uh, move forward to make this the place to go for exceptional dermatologic care.